my life was uh, going all in the right directions and all that. And uh, some things had happened. Uh, girlfriend passed away and I just started kind of getting depressed. I uh, started using a lot of harder drugs uh, until eventually it led to heroin. My mom was an alcoholic and she smoked pot. My dad was a crackhead. My mom was a single mom, so I, it was just me, her, and my sister. And then my dad, he lived up here in Vegas. I moved here when I was 13, and that's when I, I first took pills. And then I first smoked crack with my dad at 13 years old. Started using every day, and uh, lost my job at UPS. You know, as time got on, uh, I just kind of hit my bottom. I lost everything. CPS took my daughter. To be a mother without your children is the hardest thing that I've ever had to go through. So when that happened, I, I just threw myself into pills. I just wanted to die. These are people's husbands, wives, daughters. Drug addiction, it doesn't know any social boundaries or economic boundaries. It happens in every family. These people do not have chances anywhere else here within Southern Nevada. A friend of mine, told that used to live here, told me to call here and talk to Reed. So I called Reed and I was crying and I was like, I don't know what to do, I don't have any money. And I know if I go home I'll use and I just don't wanna use. And he said, well we normally don't do this, but just come, just come. There are a lot of people that can't have certain programs that others can afford. We're not a rehab center. We are a place where we're teaching people the basics of recovery to help them go forward. Most people cannot afford that. You know, I went to Salvation Army, uh, was at, at another sober living house. Freedom House was really the only one that um, they took me in right from the beginning. Life for me at Freedom House is a challenge every day. I get a lot of help from the Freedom House. They support you along the way. Um, I built a new family here. When I first came, I kind of like laid around for the first month. I didn't do anything, you know, I like made friends. Uh, and Reed and Cindy kind of like pushed me in the right direction and told me, I know you have it in you. Just, I see a light, you just gotta do what it takes, you know? So I, I started looking for work and I started volunteering here. And just now I have a job and, and I help out here. And I really love life. One of our major focus right now is job placement is get people jobs within the first 45, 60 days so they're self-supporting, they take care of themselves, and then they can get off of certain services, such as food stamps, within six months. They offer you someone to talk to, they offer you mentors, they have job training programs, they have a computer lab next door. Every part of being here has, has helped me in my recovery. I feel like if I wouldn't have come here, my life would be much different right now, and I'd still be stuck in somewhat of a rut. The help is here for you if you need it. A program such as Freedom House uh, provides a foundation uh, for people to be successful and a higher percentage of people not to re-enter into the criminal justice program. It helps us in county because our jails are, are less burdened, um, our prisons are less burdened, our parole and probation officers are less burdened, our social services net. Eventually, it's the goal is to reintegrate them, not just into society, but into their family with their children, where they have access to them, they have a role model again. And that's the very key piece that actually helps rebuild a society. Three Square is so proud to partner up with Freedom House, to be one of the greatest uh, up and coming agencies in the entire valley. When I went and toured uh, the facilities, I was blown away by how clean they were, how well organized and efficient they were, and the dignity that they provide. I would say the future for Freedom House at this point is that we become the number one place in Southern Nevada to come to for people that are coming out of incarceration, for people that cannot afford other areas that they can go to. If you look at somebody that's in a program that has an addiction problem as a loser, then you're saying there are people in my family that are losers. I love being sober and a lot of that is thanks to the Freedom House. My life, I would not be where I am today if it weren't for Reed saying, just come. Just two words, you know, just come. 